Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Press and Along. I have a very special gift for all of you because this is a gift that Elon Musk has given us. Here in Australia, our internet is absolutely horrendous. Most of us know that. So I'm going to set up this Starlink here in Wollongong and test it. And we're going to go through every step of the way. So we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to set it up and then we'll see how this goes. Let's do this. Now first up, let's start with the unboxing. It's a simple spotting box. It says Starlink over there. It has the Starlink symbol on one side, over here. I'm tempted to play the most epic background score. Da, 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 da. Okay, my terrible singing skills notwithstanding, this looks awesome. Okay, let me just spin this box around so everybody can see. Right, yo. So I'm going to do the rest of the setup like so. So you can see that it's a very simple two step process to set up. That is the setup box here, so they ask you to download the app first. Let me just pull that up and show this camera. Download the app, you set the, uh, the dish, and then you connect the router, and then you use the app to connect to the dish and the router. Let's, let's do this. Let's take and put this away. There's some plastic packaging material here. Let's take that, put that away. Here you go. This is the base plate, I suppose, of uh, Dishy uh, Mac dish base. So that's the base plate. We put that away. A fair length of cable. And this length of cable has the Ethernet port on one side. And this goes to the dish itself. So that's, that's that. It's quite heavy, to be honest. Plastic bag. This is a oh, I'm sorry, this is the router. And that is the power brick. That's right, this is the power cable, I suppose. That's right, this is a power adapter with a PoE uh, injector as well, AC adapter. And this is the router here. Pretty cool. Okay. So now wait, it's now. No biggie. Base plate. And then the sheet neck gets fish face. And there is a sliding clip here. So all you do is push that in. And then it just latches in place. That's it. As simple as that. That's all done. Pretty cool. Now let's step outside and set this up and see what this is all about. Right here, step two of the process. I'm just gonna plug all the electrical cabling. First, I placed uh, dishy the dish face outside. Uh, the power cable is here. So, or rather gray and white. On the white side, we'll get the uh, router going, going in. in. And on the gray side, you need to plug get the connection going there. So that is step two. Once it powers, I'm sure that the dish will start pointing to the right direction. Let's go out and check that too. Right here, so as soon as I plugged in, the dish just started to point towards the sky. I think it's trying to find the satellite there. In the meantime, I'm just gonna download the Starlink app on my phone as well. Check for obstructions. Go outside, stand where you intend to set your Starlink. Scan the entire sky with your device to explore the Starlink's entire field of view. Stand still, try not to uh, move your device too much. And remember that your Starlink is only a couple of feet above the ground. So um, this is the way to, uh, to check this place. I'm not sure if this is a good spot, so let's do that. I am ready. So it's asking me to look up. Let's 
Wow, this is awesome, isn't it? It says estimated obstruction. You'll get an outage every 18 seconds. You don't want that, so it's asking us, you know, uh, to find a better spot. Let's do that. All right, now I'm trying a new location. It says look up. Okay, we do that. No obstruction detected. Good, let's do this. Let's start the setup. It says plug everything in and then new and then open Wi-Fi settings. It says join Starlink. Yep, very much so. Go for it. Now it's joined the Starlink Wi-Fi. Now we can just go back to the Starlink app. You like to find and connect to devices on your local network? It said OK. You say Starlink Tesla in the oh, I'll start Android space. Okay. Oh. There's no internet connection. Online, two devices. My Apple Watch and an unknown device, I don't know what these are. Right then, next up is the speed test. I do have IINet's National Broadband Network or NBN Internet at Home, which is a 100 Mbps plan. And I'm going to start that against Starlink satellite internet and see which works better. I'm using a standard speed test app to test this. And as soon as we hit on go, both go zooming. But I must say, surprisingly, IINet gets the better score of the two in this run. This must be some sort of a miracle that happened today, but there it is. I wanted to keep this as unbiased as possible. And so there you go, the download speed for Starlink is 57 Mbps, whereas for IINet is 98 Mbps. The upload speed is about 17 Mbps for Starlink and 37 Mbps for IINet. Now let's check the streaming speed and the streaming quality. So we want to watch 4K content at home because I am a cable cutter. I do not have any set-top box to view my content, so I stream everything. So the app is now testing 720p, 1080p, 1440p, going all the way up to 4K speed. And it looks like both internet are perfectly fine for viewing content online, particularly 4K content. So this is 2160p that has been tested with both internet and it's really fine. So to summarize, I think Starlink is a great system for places which have very poor internet, particularly in the outback, it is very, very important for these people who live and work in the outback to have access to good, high quality, high speed internet. And that is where Starlink comes in. Now I must say Wulongong does have poor internet too, but in today's test, I must say IINet completely smashed Starlink out of the park, but that may be a freak of nature. I will do further testing and I'll come back to you on my Twitter handle. Of course, I had to do a little bit of cross promotion. So I fired up my previous video that I released. This is the Cybertruck video. If you've not watched that, the link is there in the description of this video too. And I did a little bit of scrubbing to see if the scrubbing works fine. And that was no problem at all. I was streaming all of this in 4K, of course. Now, once you're done with using your styling system and you want to store it away for storage, you have to do it via the app. You have to go on to the app and click on store. And that will return Dishy Mac Dish Face to its store position and then you can put it away in storage so there you go guys this is my video talking about styling system unboxing setting up and a quick test if you have any questions please do you leave your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i'm doing click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop i'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon until then this is nash from tesla the gong signing off peace